uh, because of this 30 second delay you have to be careful sometimes I enter so quick and I say okay guys I'm entering for example short on euro US dollar right now I enter and maybe 30 seconds later market moved a lot and it's not a good time for you to copy my uh, trade and it's not a very convenient time a very nice time for you a nice spot for you maybe things change in 30 seconds so fast so it's not gonna uh, work with you I mean I mean uh, be careful when I trade <laughs> after 30 seconds you will hear what I'm doing so that difference sometimes make a lot of difference I hope you understand what I'm trying to say so for example right now I enter I say okay I'm entering short and you use dollar enter and you are hearing me 60 seconds later and that 60 second might in that 60 second might be I, I I am even out of my I mean I exited my trade I can exit my trade in 30 seconds you know I'm not in a staying in trades for a long time so be careful with what you what you're doing and that's it really so guys right now I am trying to find out where the direction is uh, the way it looks up to now the direction on euro US dollar and pound US dollar is to the upside and US dollar Canadian dollar is going down as you know I just trade only on <clears throat> three markets which I just mentioned euro US dollar pound US dollar US dollar Canadian dollar and uh, if suddenly I see there is a chance on other markets and there is a good chance I cannot resist I might trade it for example on gold and oil if suddenly I realize I see there is a nice chance and I can take advantage I will I might just do that so that's the other thing you need to know and I think today might be a kind of bullish day for euro US dollar and pound US dollar guys might be although uh, the overall direction on euro US dollar is to the downside so is on uh, pound US dollar and you can see on pound US dollar four hour time frame is just going down and daily time frame is going to the sideway as you can see so guys you can count on these levels I put on my charts you know I have four different time frames on each market I'm showing you the direct the current direction guys I got nothing to do with what happened yes that's a bit important but I'm not thinking about what happened in the market what is important to me is what is happening right now and what might happen next so for example right now on 15 minute time frame uh, Martin I want you to notice uh, if you are not aware just on 15 minute time frame I got the levels here for you yeah and 90% um, of times the le levels are quite accurate it doesn't mean the levels are here but it doesn't mean market have to uh, respect them properly no most of time sometimes the markets uh, violate the levels disrespect them I don't care what the levels does what it wants to do but we should have our levels and we have to have kind of accurate levels on our charts and right now for example I have my levels on four different time frames 15 minutes one hour four hour and daily and the same time I am showing the direction the current direction guys I'm showing you the current direction on each time frame for example right now on one hour time frame pound US dollar is going down yeah it's quite obvious you can see this not many people can find the direction not many people can find the accurate levels but I'm doing this right now I am able to do that after nine years of experience so the direction is on one of the time frame for example to the downside on 15 minute time frame is going up and I am guys talking about current direction not just any direction current so four hour time frame is going down daily is going to the sideways so depends on what kind of uh, trader you are what you trade are you trading do you trade on 
daily time frame do you trade on 15 minute time frame four hour or whatever you're trading i got four different time frames here and that they are much much more than enough even one time frame is more than enough i got four time frame here if you're trading on one hour time frame pay attention more to one hour time frame and in, in a way you have to pay attention to in a way you have to pay attention to many different things guys i don't want to give you a headache i'm not here to you know uh, uh, hold a course but uh, in a way you have to be aware of uh, different time frames for example if you're trading on if you're trying to trade or trading on one hour time frame you need to have a look at a five minute and 15 minute time frame time to time too because what's happening on those time frames can affect your uh, trading uh, that, that's kind of important you have to it's better to you don't really have to don't have to do that but it's better to be aware of lower time frames and higher time frames at the same time so you're trading on one hour time frame you need to watch 15 minute time frame too because all the levers what is happening the structures in there the patterns in there is going to affect your one hour time frame too same time you have to ha be aware of what's happening on four hour time frames too so four hour time frame and even daily time frame you have to watch them too you have to be aware of what is happening in there uh, on those time frames guys so they can affect your one hour time frame you're trading on one hour time frame fair enough that's good fantastic well done but same time my idea my experience my advice to you is watch lower time frames and higher time frames too in this case for example at least when you're trading on one the one hour time frame at least watch 15 minute and four hour time frames too i mean all the time and this is the best advice uh, technically i can give you and not everybody is aware of that not everybody knows why not everybody is, uh, I mean, experienced enough to know why or do what I'm trying to say. So that is how to, a code in general called multi-time frame trading or multi-time frame watching. So um, I hope that was helpful, guys. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you very much for joining me. My name is Ali. I am a full-time trader, guys. I am a full-time trader. I trade almost 10 hours a day and share with you the best part of my day trading from 12 to 5 p.m. London time. You're more than welcome to join me every day and I share with you everything. I share with you all my trades, all entries, all exits why i enter why i exit everything you can see quite transparent i'm not going to hide anything guys anything nothing i'm gonna hide so uh if even you uh, don't ask any question or if you have a question and even i i don't have time that's the same second to answer you only by watching what i'm doing here you can learn a lot guys i'm, I'm i guarantee this so thanks for watching and again i am a scalper i enter in and out of trades for seconds and my uh, target for the day is something like 30 pips and most of times most of days i exceed that 30 pips and i have something like 60 50 70 sometimes 100 pips of profit a day but uh, just 30 pips of profit does my job to be honest and i'm quite happy with that that's what why i mentioned 25 uh, pip target a day on the title of my uh, stream so thank you very much for joining me guys i just explained about how to uh, use multi time frames watching or trading if you didn't hear me you can always rewind the uh, video or the stream and watch it and listen to what i say multi-time frame watching is kind of essential to me i don't think uh, your rate of uh, success can be very high if you're not watching multi-time frames 
or if you are not trading multi time frames or if you are not aware of that or if you don't care of that about that so that is kind of important and essential to my uh, system of uh, analysis and thanks for watching thanks for listening guys